So hello everyone welcome back to another video of my channel and in this video we'll be take a complete look on zero click account take course and also other account take course and how i was able to find account take course in some recent cases before going the video we are having some announcements here we are having our master course training of bug bounties or advanced bug bounty batch 6 out for sale again now you guys can take a look on all the contents this course is only for those who are having the clear basics of bug bounties and want to level up their skills along with You guys can get a lot of tools, lot of CVs, lot of notes, lot of uh, handwritten guides, and all these things. So make sure to take a look on all the detailed things here. And I guess that was for the promotions here. And let's get into the video. So here we are on our computer screen now, and let's take a look what is account takeover. So I already made a video about account takeovers, as you guys can see here. If you just go to YouTube. You can see that we have already made a video on how to find account takeovers and all these things. Let's see where is the video. Here is the video all about account takeovers. It was two years ago, and here we are on making the same video again. By the way, we are clo too close to 4,000 subscriber. Let's see if we can hit that to 4,000 mark in this particular video. Anyway. So first of all what is account takeover we know that when we are able to take over any victims account or we are able to get access over any account that we would like to about specific website specific user then that would be known as account takeover but also what is a zero click account takeover so in zero click account takeover it's very simple when there is no user interaction required from the victim it is known as zero account takeover suppose you can do all by yourself And there's a very big thing that suppose if you found the credentials leaked from somewhere and we just get to uh, take over the victim's account, can we know as credential leakage or account takeover? So for that doubt, here is the exact clarification. Credential stuffing is a type of brute force attack that relies on automated tools to attempt logins, but account takeover is unauthorized access of the account by a threat actor. So in short, account takeover is something that we can get some sort of uh, password reset flaws, creating account flaws, and this type of flaws to get about or to get the accessibility detail of any sort of account. So in short, if I just type here, what is zero click account takeover? No action, no action required from victim is called zero click ATO. Same. There is also one more thing, which is one-click ATO. Now you guys can simply say that only one interaction required with victim to get the account takeover. We can also do that, but that's not a thing for us right now. Now, as I said, we'll be doing a brief or as I say, a little bit of possible POC breakdown. So here are the POCs. We are gonna open one of them one by one. Uh, you guys can have a you know deep look onto it, but I'm just telling you about this subsidiary produce in short. So attacker is trying to create an account. This is created by uh, M7 Arm4N. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or wrong, but yeah, shout out to the guy for sharing this amazing write-up. So we are creating an account and a victim account. Attacker account is one two three. Victim account is one two four. Now, in attacker account, submit your email address to receive information or confirmation link. <clears throat> Replace the last part of link, which is one two three one two four, with base sixty four encoding of victim sub. So we are replacing one two three in base sixty four with one two four, and then opening the poison link. Then after we are getting the submit reset password, that we have link. Uh, we are using the same site on this. You know the we step in this step two. And we will receive a link for changing password. And after changing the password, we are able to get into the victim's account. It's simple. There is no interaction required from the victim, and we are able to do that. So in short, what we have done: change this parameter, and reset or in other confirmation links, and we are able to just change the password. It's not that hard. Usually, account takeover is known as a very hard vulnerability, and where to find it. But come on, it's not that much big deal. You can simply have a good. Uh, approach on it now. The best tip to find ATO, any ATO. I'm not talking about only zero clicks. Anyone. So, best tip is like observation. I will say, 
the more you observe the website's behavior the more you observe the website's uh, handling inputs the more you behave uh, observe the behavior of account changing password reset account ids all the steps of things you will get a better better way better idea of how to find account takeovers i will even show you my own poc which is uh, which i have found recently like one or two days ago during the classes i hope you must have seen the classes link in the starting which is about the free book bounty course and also about the paid bug bounty mart master close so there is one more zero click account takeover by veshraj gimire from nepal now simple thing let's take a look on the steps to reproduce and eventually we can read the whole thing by the way so let's take a look here sending request field would give every user unique id that's good we are getting the user ids by just going to this field now how the attacker should find this exact endpoint by having a proper understanding how everything is working how requests are reacting or how a website is interacting with the user now we are able to get the user ids sending request to the other one will give the user id would disclose the email address just adding question mark customer id equals to will give the users email address now resetting the password of user which we got from step 2 so we can simply go to forward password and put the email that we got from here and then sending post request to this exact push token with the user id that we found from this third request and we will go the recovery codes and then we can take over any one account simplest thing not a big deal now how to got this type of fields observation and proper reconnaissance spending time good things take time that's the first thing let's take a look on the third one snowman here snow mars now let's take a reproducing the bug go to reset password put the victim's email after the first link goes the victim email open the console and change the user email in the attacker's mail reload and reset and open attacker's mail to use the link to reset the victim's password simplest thing just post up exploitation to get anyone's account take over not a big deal here now one more thing so intercepting the request changing the email sending it to enter the brute force the user id now we are brute forcing user id not the passwords okay Noticing that user ID and email leaked on renderer, okay, so we are able to find the leaked IDs and then trying to render them. That's good. We usually do that. Now using the same request to change victim's email, and the server will send a confirmation six digit to victim's email, right? Obviously, that is gonna be happening. So that is supposed to be there. Now sending the request that validates the confirmation code to intruder and brute forcing the six digit number. Now you guys can see that we are really doing a brute forcing here to find the OTP because there is no rate limit exactly happening on the uh, verification or the confirmation code. So we are really able to get the six-digit number brute forced, and then we can do account takeover. That's a weird, uh, weird response to do it, but that's kind of a thing that we should do it or we can do it. Zero click Facebook account takeover. That's a whole very good story here. you can definitely take a look on to that now Okay, so let's take a look on the final one, which is a zero-click account takeover on Facebook. So let's take a look. This is by Abdullah Yala, I guess. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. Let's take a look here. 
So attacker found a graphical mutation that allow me to confirm a new email address without having ownership over it. That's kind of a pre-ATO and yeah, the report was triaged. Not actually pre-ATO but just uh, ownership missing or confirmation should be there. That's good. It was priced. That's good for them. Now, then we are on the account takers. Now, before going into the exact section, we can do a specific thing that how can we find or let's say, uh, what do we say that exactly? Not sure right now, but as I said, the observation would be the key to find account takeover, right? So this is the actual observation that the attacker have did or the hunter has did here. So let's take a look here. Switch to Android mobile, going through the Facebook password recovery flow, found a phone number, right? Just trying to get the recover the password or account using phone number. He noticed the response is having multiple parameters, try to change parameter values from false to true and multiple things using intercept and repeater. Now, then we got this one, is shared phone no signal, false or true? So if said true, we get the one more extra parameter which is shared phone number in request, right? So if we just take a look on this type of request, we are having this one. Shared phone number equals to zero and the whole phone number, not a big deal. Now, that's the thing, if you just uh, send, go on this particular request, we will get the OTP code. But if you just change the shared number to something else, you will also get the same OTP. And this is where the account takeover has worked. So best understanding workflow, you put the victim phone in shared phone number. CUID is your encrypted user ID. You receive the 8-digit OTP code to change password of victim's account. Simplest thing. Then it was submitted, the report was tried, fixed, all these things. And that was the basic approach to it. Now we have seen all the POCs. Let me show you one of my own. <clears throat> so me and my friend were hunting on a program. While we see that, if we just uh, put the forgot password link here. As you guys can see that, I'm just typing the email and just checking the response. So I send the mail and and here we are just clicking on the response and I got this. Uh, this is the link and also with the token. So if I just copy the link or open the token. I will getting anyone's you know I can reset anyone's password using that one so I just I'm just pasting it here and yeah I just need to just click on the forward just copying the link and pasting it in the browser it will just open the reset password of victim you can just type anyone's email and get their forgot password token and just reset their password so I can simply type a new password for any account and here I'm having a zero click account takeover so that was for the video here is one more thing that I would like to tell that was for quantity best trainings a complete advanced course about bug bounties and a completely live course about how we are gonna do hunt on programs and everything from scratch so you guys can have definitely take a look on all the contents here and these are not the just contents you can see the detailed contents are mentioned here you can take a look on all of them and i guess that was for the video thanks for watching have a great day and see you guys in the upcoming video